damaging impacts of urban development on their survival. Although these might seem like your average trees, they are in fact super trees, providing many beneficial elements on a large array of animals and aquatic life. Mangroves are a type of tree found along coastal and estuary regions of tropical and subtropical environments. The dominant species found in the Brisbane area, particularly along the riverbanks, are the grey mangrove and river mangrove. So why are mangroves so important? Firstly, mangroves are a keystone species, providing a habitat for the innumerable amount of different species, including birds, insects, fish, crustaceans, mollusks and microorganisms. The mangrove jackfish relies on mangroves for survival. Their primary habitat is in the estuaries and tidal creeks where they develop and grow until sexual maturity, as well as shelter, the submerged mangrove roots and overhanging vegetation provide an abundance of food for these animals. But with increased development occurring along mangrove dominant areas, habitat degradation from sedimentation and loss of riparian vegetation is becoming a serious threat to the mangrove jackfish. And this is only one animal out of an innumerable amount that rely on mangroves Another importance of mangroves is their unique root structure. These help hold soil and banks together, preventing erosion, particularly along riverbanks. In turn, the amount of sediment erosion into nearby waters is reduced. However, these super trees are under threat from increasing human disturbances. What happens to mangrove jackfish species and the riverbank stability when mangroves are continuously being cleared? With an estimated 85% of Australia's population living within 50 kilometres of the coast, rising populations along coastal and estuary regions such as the Brisbane River increase the need for infrastructure, residential and industrial areas. This has resulted in the removal of many mangrove communities along riverbanks such as South Bank, causing vast ecological disturbances. In 2010, the South Bank area of Brisbane was cleared of more than 300 mangrove trees purely for riverfront value. It was estimated that about 40 species of wildlife could be affected by this removal, particularly in regard to fish habitats. Although it was considered that this was only a small removal in comparison to the entire river section, it is the accumulation of these small pocket removals that leads to a large loss overall. Erosion is a major player in sediment addition and upsets water quality levels. Already, the Brisbane River is heavily laden with sediment. You can see this by the brown discoloured water. Around 90% of Australians eat seafood, and the contribution of mango related species in East Australia is approximately 67% of the entire commercial catch, just like the mangrove jackfish. If mangroves are continually destroyed, then essential breeding grounds and habitats for over 50 species of fish are lost. If domestic consumption of fish continue to grow, where is the fish going to come from? So if you've got um, mangroves being cut, you're going to immediately lose fisheries habitat value. Uh, you're going to lose all that uh, um, benefit of uh, local fisheries, whether it be mud crabs or, or barramundis or whatever you like, prawns, uh, you, every fish species you can probably name that you like to eat is going to come with some connection with mangrove. In order to ensure that these essential ecosystems persist for future generations, several conservation strategies need to be employed. Already, mangroves are included in at least 108 protected areas. This protection covers over approximately 28% of Australian estuaries. As well as this, many mangrove areas are protected through legal, legal conservation, such as marine parks, national parks and fish and habitat reserves. Through correct management, conservation and further awareness, we will not only be able to help maintain these super trees in Brisbane's ecology, but ultimately we will be able to conserve the many extraordinary aspects that all rely so heavily on these mangrove trees.